My name is John Engel. I'm the owner of Heron Hill Winery. We've been in business since 1977. Today we had a delicious tasting of assorted reds from the Finger Lakes, Pinot Noir, Cabernet Franc, Syrah, and a little bit of Blau Frankish, surrounded by some of the top winemakers in the Finger Lakes and enjoying some of their best efforts. It's been a very enlightening and entertaining morning, early afternoon of wine tasting, and I've certainly enjoyed sharing time with all these people, gentlemen and ladies, and always enjoy pumping up the Finger Lakes and telling about what we're trying to do here and the accomplishments that we're making. This is our 2007 Blau Frankish, also known as Lemberger in the wine world. We chose to call it Blau Frankish because that's what it's called in Austria where most of it's grown. That has led to quite a bit of controversy and banter about the name and about the wine, so I'm very delighted about stirring up the dust a little bit and getting people talking about Finger Lakes wines. This is $35 a bottle, available only at the winery, heronhill.com. It's also available on the internet, and we only made 250 cases of it in 2007. Okay. My name is Steve DeFrancesco. I'm the winemaker at Glenora Wine Cellars and also at Knapp Winery and Restaurant. We're on Seneca Lake. The winery is located on Seneca Lake. But right now we're at Heron Hill, which I've always felt is one of the most incredible views, probably in the great growing world, but certainly in the Finger Lakes. It's very beautiful up here. And we're with very wonderful company with some nice red wines from the Finger Lakes, a couple of Pinot Noirs, Blau Frankish, a Syrah from Glenora, and two Cab Francs. And the Finger Lakes are certainly known for aromatic white varieties, and that's something we do a wonderful job with. A little less well known for our reds, and this tasting is proof that with care, very nice reds can be made. 2007 was the vintage we were highlighting here, and that certainly made red wine making a little less challenging than some years, but I think even in the other years that are cooler, we can do a good job too. So the Pinot Noir from Dr. Frank, the Pinot Noir from Heart and Hands, Blau Frankish from Heron Hill, Syrah from Glenora, and Cab Francs from Ravines and Red Newt were all wonderful, and this was a great company to be a part of. My name is Steve DeFrancesco. I'm a winemaker at Glenora Wine Cellars on Seneca Lake in the Finger Lakes, and we just tasted the Glenora Syrah from 2007. We have lots of this wine available. It's available at the winery, and it's in distribution, so in upstate New York, everywhere north of Westchester, any wine shop or restaurant that can buy wine has this available to them, if you ask, if they don't have it now. But it's available at the winery too, obviously. For $16.99, I think it is a bottle. I make the wine. I don't sell it. The Syrah is relatively new to the Finger Lakes. It's not a variety that you tend to associate with the Finger Lakes, but on the right site, with care in the vineyard and care in the winery, it can make a very nice wine, and we're pretty proud of this Syrah. Hi, I'm Mark Berger. I'm the winemaker at Dr. Frank's. I've been there for 20 years now. I just finished a tasting here with Morgan on Wine Talk Radio. We've tasted six wonderful wines from the Finger Lakes, all varying in styles. Two were Pinot Noir, one of which was Dr. Frank. We had a couple nice Cabernet Francs, showing distinctly two different styles of how that wine could be made here in the Finger Lakes. We also had two newcomers to the wine scene, which are Syrah and Limburger. And oh, we've got a visitor, a black lab. And anyhow, it's been a very educational tasting. It was a great pleasure to be here and be invited to this. And you should listen to this program, and I think you'll enjoy what you hear. And as you can tell, it's 
not queued up and we make all our mistakes ourselves. <laughs> oh, I'm Mark Farragut, winemaker at Dr. Frank's. Uh, this is a bottle of our 2007 Pinot Noir, which retails for $19.99. It's widely distributed throughout the state of New York and is available in some other select locations throughout the U.S. We are distributed in 35 other states. Um, you can also pick this wine up via the internet. Just contact the winery and we'll, if your state is legal to ship to, we will try. Hi, my name is Katie Cornelius. I handle the graphic design at Dr. Frank's Wine Cellars and I was lucky enough to sit in on Finger Lakes Wine Talk with a bunch of local winemakers and listen to them talk about their 2007 red wines. And it was very interesting and great, very educational, and I hope you guys all are able to listen in and enjoy it just as I did. And come on up and visit us at the Finger Lakes. And where's Dr. Frank located? Dr. Frank's is located in Hammondsport, New York, and 9749 Middle Road. Wow. And uh, you have the 2007 Pinot Noir? Yes, we do. And we also maybe are going to have some new Dr. Frank reds in the fall to look forward to. Wow. Great. Thanks, Kate. Yeah. Hi, I'm Dave Whiting for Red New Cellars, and... I just took part in a fantastic tasting on Wine Talk Radio with Morgan McLaughlin um, from Heron Hill. And we tasted these six red wines from the Finger Lakes, two Pinot Noirs, uh, Blau Francish, a two Cabernet Francs, and a Syrah. And boy, these were all 07s, and what a great year for reds. Uh, the two Pinots from Tuca Lake, um, Dr. Frank, and Seneca Lake, actually Seneca, Seneca Lake grapes, uh, made at Heart and Hands Winery. Uh, both elegant wines. Different in style, different in character, different in personality. Um, it was fun tasting the Blau Frankish and Syrah t together because they were both wines that aren't quite as popular in the Finger Lakes, but showing great promise. And much as the, as the Pinots, they were great fruit, forward fruit, uh, supple palate, uh, great food wines. And then the Cabernet Francs, of course, uh, are the, the Cabernet Franc is a variety that we think a lot about in the Finger Lakes. Um, we had our Cabernet Franc from Glacier Ridge Vineyards and also... Um, the Ravines Cabernet Franc, which, and I think both those wines highlighted the fact that Cabernet Franc is a great variety to be growing in the Finger Lakes and making wine out of, and to be enjoying with our dinner or lunch, as we're going to do in a few minutes here. So I'm here at Heron Hill. We just had a great tasting with Morgan McLaughlin on Finger Lakes Wine Radio. And uh, the, my, our wine from Red Newt that was part of the tasting was the 2007 Glacier Ridge Vineyards. Cabernet Franc. It's a single vineyard. It comes from Glacier Ridge Vineyards, which is just a mile from Red Newt on the east side of Seneca Lake. A small, perfectly manicured site that's just off the water on the east side of Seneca. And 07 was a great vintage, so this wine had terrific dark fruit character, dark raspberry, black cherry, a little bit of smoke, which is characteristic of that vineyard, and just a, just a mouthful of a wine, as most of the wines were today. Oh, mouthfuls. They were mouthfuls. Some of them showing more delicacy and finesse. Some of them showing off more forward fruit. This is one of the more forward fruit ones, probably with supple structure. And yeah, it was a great day, and I'm anxious to taste all these wines with lunch in just a few minutes, right?